When working with really thick fabrics and going over maybe a thick denim seam, there can be some issues. There can be some skip stitches, but I want to show you a couple things that can truly make this a lot easier. And the Foff Creative 4.5 sewing machine has everything built in that you need. So first off, I'm going to just start by sewing a 5 8 inch seam to kind of join these two pieces of denim together. Now, normally I'd put on a denim needle and that would really make a difference. But here's, here's something that we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little cheating before we get all the way through this. I'm gonna show you how we can do some top stitching. So I'm gonna press the seam over here to the right side. And a foot that comes with this machine is an overlock foot. And it has a guide in here. See this little red marker? We can set that to be right along the fold, move our needle position oh so slightly, and get a perfect top stitching. So not really using it for what it was intended for, but it is a great choice here. We could even use the triple straight stitch if we wanted to, and then move the needle position a little bit over to this side. I'm kind of watching as I go to see how much I want to move it. I won't move it all the way over, but why not? Let's use that really thick stitch. And it's a long stitch too. Did you see how long it comes up? It comes up four millimeters long. So if that's too long for you, you can definitely shorten it up. It does take two stitches forward and one stitch back. So you do have to kind of keep that in mind. But notice what I'm doing with my hands. I'm kind of just smoothing them out of the way and look at the results. So when, when people always uh, take a look at this, they just go, wow, I didn't know I could sew so straight. And yes, if you do want that extra look of a top stitching, check out stitch number two for, that, for the results. So yes, we kind of used a little bit of a foot here for a little cheat, and we'll put foot number zero A back on the machine, just our standard presser foot and pick stitch number one. Now before we, we do that turning up the hem, what's gonna happen is, is we're gonna get to over, going over that really thick seam. This has got nine layers in it. Now there's three layers here and we've turned it two more times. So by lengthening out the stitch length up to three or even 3.5 would be a great idea. You might pin this or iron it, press it in place. Uh, that will make a difference. But I wanna make sure that you actually realize that sewing from the top side is actually gonna give you prettier results. When you sew from the top side, and that's actually why they call it top stitching, you get the, the stitch that looks the best on the top. Because your needle does have to kind of go through all the layers and by the time it comes out on the other knee, underneath side, it might be a little bit on the other side of the weave of the fabric or the next time over here. But when it goes through the top, that really is the prettiest stitch. Set the needle to stop in the down position and then pull out your multi-purpose tool. You'll notice that on one side it's a little thinner and the other side's a little thicker. This is going to help you get up and over the really thick part of your seam. Now I will tell you, right now I can go right over this and not have any problem. But let me show you what's happening. Is as soon as you get going up the mountain, your presser foot starts to kind of maybe take some smaller stitches. But if you take the tool, lift up your presser foot and slide it underneath the back of the foot, not all the way, okay, but just up to the seam, now the foot is level with the thick part. All it needs to do is travel now up here on the plateau. The pressure is going to be nice and even. I really don't have to push it or pull it. And then to make sure we don't get like extra long stitches or skip stitches, take the tool when you come off the seam, place it right up to the thick part, and let the machine stitch into the opening. Now, I do have a few of these in, in my classroom uh, box that have had um, the people stitch through them. Your machine will stitch through this tool with no, with no problem, actually. Uh, but you can see that it's a leveler, and that's what truly makes going up and over something really, really thick turn out much better. You have nice, even stitches all the way across, no matter if it's thin or thick. So going over thick areas, 
This is your lifesaver. I think you, when you give it a try, you'll notice all the headaches that you've been giving yourself that you really didn't need to have headaches for.